repeating the cocky salesman as doubters question the budget bank sell-off. Noise protesters unimpressed by more money for Banjuri's Creek and a tense superpower summit depending on VE Day goodwill. Good evening, Richard Moorcroft with ABC News. Gentle on voters, soft on spending. 24 hours after Paul Keating's pre-election budget was unveiled, it's being hailed as a clever political exercise, but a financial disappointment. For a roundup of how the Keating-Willis plan is being sold, we cross live to Jim Middleton in Canberra. After the speech comes the big sell. All of the Keating government's top ministers were out and about today, promoting the virtues of the budget, the surplus, the super package, the baby bonus. But the opposition is branding the surplus a stunt, and is casting doubts over whether it can be delivered. The Coalition claims there's a question mark over the sale of the rest of the Commonwealth Bank, the move supposed to get the budget back in the black. What do you mean it's true? It's, yeah, that's right. It's so fantastic. No one's ever accused Paul Keating of underselling a budget. The biggest, most comprehensive savings change in our history. And as eager as the Prime Minister was to have everyone admire his handiwork, John Howard was striving to rip it to shreds. My warning to Australian workers is you will end up, if you re-elect this bloke, you will end up paying the super levy. You'll pay for it, but you won't get the compensation from the government. Could you imagine that bunch having the wit, the imagination, the courage, the sense, the conscientiousness to build a thing like this? It's a bogus surplus. I mean, this budget will only be believed if the Australian public believes the Prime Minister. Poor old John Howard, he had the giggles, he had a sort of a, a plastic smile glued onto his face. And the Prime Minister believes the budget, with its surprise surplus of $700 million, courtesy of asset sales and tax rises, means the end of interest rate increases. Prospects of, lower, of, uh, of rates staying down are... are uh, are very, very strong indeed. The budget's next hurdle is the Senate, where the Democrats and the Greens hold the balance of power. Today, the government had a warning for the minor parties. The budget bottom line isn't negotiable. Uh, as far as we're concerned, that is what needs to be delivered. Ralph Willis took the threat to the Senate one stage further. If uh, we are unable to get uh, substantial segments of the budget uh, through the Senate, and there are consequential increases in interest rates, then you'll know who to blame. It will wear the consequences, not the government. The coalition had the sale of the rest of the Commonwealth Bank in its sights. The opposition leader thinks he's found a flaw, reminding Mr Willis that when the second chunk of the bank was being sold in 1991, he'd written to investors ensuring them that's where the sell-off would stop. The government has no intention whatever of further reducing its shareholding. There were no guarantees uh, or assertions made that there would never be a change of policy. But the 1991 assurance does raise the possibility of legal problems, putting a question mark over the surplus. And it does seem a surplus can take some getting used to, even for a treasurer. The deficit uh, that we have published in, uh, or the surplus we published in uh, last night's figures, <laughs> The surplus caught the financial markets by surprise too, but they did not like the way it was achieved. Their initial response was negative. The Australian dollar down sharply.